That's what I'm talking about. Wait. Okay, now. From the beginning. Hit it, boys. What the helmet are we looking at here? So I got kicked out of the skag booth, told to leave. And it's the fault of the guys from Bobcat Turf. This is gonna be the biggest pile of crap that I've seen. It started when I got together with Belgard and they asked me to shoot a video on the best and worst lawnmowers at the GIE. See, Belgard is a hardscaping company that, but they realize that a lot of you lawn care guys out there are starting to get into the hardscaping and they wanna actually help you migrate into the hardscaping industry. What is that? What, what is that CAD system that you guys use, a design system? Yes, so we have the Belgard Design Studio. Come in quite close because the Belgard Design Studio actually has an 80% conversion ratio. So this is a huge factor that you guys need to know because when you present one of these plans to one of your customers, 80% conversion ratio means 80% of your customers are gonna buy right then and there. They're gonna sign on the dotted line in comparison to a typical close ratio which may be closer to 25 to 30% on average. Exactly, so our Belgard Design Studio, we have a team that backs that up. Belgard authorized contractors get free designs through the Belgard Design Studio. We draw it out, so if you're used to drawing on a napkin or graph paper and just a simple drawing, you're gonna have this rendered out. We can do 3D fly through. Free. This it's is amazing. Seriously, but you got to be a Belgard authorized installer. Yes. That's the key, guys. So don't just think you're just going to go on there and start doing it. And there's a few steps to becoming one of those. But once you're in, you gain access to a whole new world of technology that otherwise you may not have. So shooting the video on the best and worst lawnmowers at the GIE was going really well until I hooked up with the guys from Bobcat Turf outside. Those guys are a bad influence. So they told me that the Bobcat lawnmower has a travel speed of 19 miles an hour. I pull back and give just a little tiny wheelie and I'm like, oh, I probably shouldn't have done that until I looked over and I seen the Bobcat guys cheering me on. They're like, yeah! And I was like, yeah! And then I really started to get into it because every time I look over at them, I thought I was going to be in trouble. They were laughing and I'm like, must be okay, let's do it again. And so I did it again and again, and I started to have a lot of fun at that Bobcat booth, man. Those guys are crazy fun. Wake me up before you go, and I'll just make this bed my home. Oh, darling, please just let me sleep. Give me my dreams. interesting one these Altaz guys are actually out of Minnesota and I think they can convert their lawnmowers into snow plowing rigs a plow in the front a sander in the back but they don't have a cab on it I mean what the heck is the deal with that but they look like decent lawnmower because everything looks better from above and nothing's ever as it seems yet except so I talked to a few guys at the show about this new Xmark Staris and they really didn't know what to think about them. So I bought one. I'm gonna give it a test run and tell you guys what I think of it, good, bad, or in between. Best way to do it, I guess. Okay guys, this is the Xmark's newest. It's called the Starus. They have completely revamped this thing. You can see that the, they've tucked the motor up and in instead of out and forward. You've got your deck raise and lower here, but do you notice how it's below the level of your handles? So if you got to get in tight, 
you can do it. You don't have anything sticking up. Also, your parking brake is down here. So here's your parking brake. I actually like that these things are kind of out of the way of your control panel. Your throttle's right here. Your, your PTO engagement is right here. It's all very well laid out. I'm impressed. Okay, what's your least favorite thing, Xander, about mowers? All mowers, like ride on mowers, zero turns, when you push them all the way forward, they're not even, which means you either have to pull one, you always have to pull one side back to keep going straight. Okay. Because so you're always going to turn, and I hate it. So how about on the farthest it's back? It's the same back. Like, look at that. So they're off, just enough. Every mower, ever. I've never seen on the one. Another battery powered option, this one's by Moax, single front wheel. So it gives you a lot of, uh, a lot of ease and versatility to get in, to go around, to knock stuff over. Works good. <laughs> Don't knock this one over. <laughs> <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> Do you even know how to mow? <laughs> Have you ever used a push mower? Okay, stop trying to use it. <laughs> <I'm so> <laughs> <laughs> I hate you guys. <laughs> but it actually is really nice. I like that single front wheel. Yeah. You can get in a lot more places with that. Well, we'll have permission at 3 o'clock, so uh, are we ready? Yep. All right, guys, this is Ego's battery-powered lineup. Ego's actually starting to dominate the battery-powered market. They've got a really good reputation built up. Here's their snowblower. It, has, it will, according to their calculations, throw snow 35 feet. So pretty simple to operate. Runs off from their main battery system that goes right in here, but it has two batteries. and. I mean, it's just a grab and go unit, pretty easy. So I recently found out that Ego's actually going to be releasing a commercial line of power equipment, which to be honest with you, I always thought that the other equipment that they had was a commercial line of power equipment because they've always performed amazing. So this is going to be interesting to see how they up their game. I'm going to see if I can find out more about that equipment and deliver that to you guys. I'm also going to try to connect with the Spartan Mower guys and learn more about this brand as well. Okay, what's the deal, y'all? So I ran Skay, I ran Ferris, and I ran Wright in the past two days. Yep. And, um,. If you just ask me to pick one right now, it's gonna be a right. I don't care what more I need, I'm gonna take a right any day. Why is that? I like the, the way the handles are set up and they're uh, they're positive, they're kind of firm to pull. I yep. prefer that, I don't like them when they're too easy to pull, then it gets touchy and jerky. Yep. I, and they've got power, they've got speed, they handle really well. Even, I ran the dually and that thing handled like nothing. Yeah, yeah. They're just quality all the way around. They are. Yep. And I like who runs the place. Cool guy, Ed. Cool guy, yeah. That makes a difference. It does. It's and a really big part of it. I'll tell you, yeah, I mean, I got to meet Ed, I got to hang out with Ed, and he's the real deal. Hey, hey, hey. hey. the beast, man. That suspension. Is that seat cool? Yeah, that's pretty good. Cool. Is that your first time running a stander with a seat? Yes. So what do you think of it? A lot more comfortable than I thought it would be. Really? Honestly, yeah. I can see it, you know, just long straightaways. You can just chill and, you know, yeah. keep mowing for a few hours and it can get tedious standing that whole time. Yeah, I, I, I've never ran one with a seat, so. That's pretty, you gotta try it, man. That seat 
is cool because you get to use your body language, right? When you're actually riding it, it's kind of like a motorcycle. When you're going into a corner, you kind of corner into it. Like if you just ride it like straight up and down, it's gonna buck you off like a horse. But as you're going into the corners, you're gonna lean into it. That's cool, that's fun. That's actually fun, right? Was that fun? I guess. Yeah, that was fun. Read that all day. That was fun. So I actually used the Hustler, and I liked it. I was just like, at first I'm like, this is gonna be the biggest pile of crap that I've seen. And then I started to use it, and I'm like, actually this is really nice. A lot of the, the little things work really good. Like you're down, you're out of the way, parking brake is lower than the handles, your control panels are here, your guards are here, but very comfortable layout. A lot of good things with this mower. And it's got a good engine. Stand. I said, what the helmet are we looking at here? This is pretty intriguing. Look at this thing. Okay. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Oh, this is kind of cool. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, I'd love to bring this out on a job site. This would just be cool. So then, I wonder if you can get a sulky for it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, you gotta be able to get a sulky for it, right? Trim star. H-bar steering, H-bar steering. I right, do it again, let's see what it takes. So bouncing that over a curve might be a bit on the difficult side for you, wouldn't it be? For someone my size. Okay, so this is the oil Vanguard system. The oil goes in here. This is a once a year oil changing system, which is perfect for companies that have maintained lots of fleets because this keeps the oil separate from the engine, keeps the oil cooler, pumps the oil into the engine, and also has more capacity. It is literally a once a, once a year oil change system, the oil vanguard. No matter how much you run it. You know, we could talk bad about him while we're recording, and it'd be really funny because he'd like hear it when he's editing. If he actually added this, ever. <laughs> so now this is a new line of commercial grade lawnmowers that's just out there. It's actually called Wee Bang. Well, I don't know the right way to pronounce it, but that's the way I like to say it. And they actually look like pretty good quality. I'm going to see if I can get together with this company and do a more thorough review and kind of bring you an update on what these mowers are, how they operate, and if they live up to their WeBang reputation. This is a concept mower by Briggs & Stratton that they say is going to be released in 2026 or something like that. Now this unit is probably more plastic than it's actually lawnmower. I would feel more comfortable putting one of my kids on this thing at this point than actually using it on a job site because it's just a prototype and it's just a display model. It's just for looks, really. But we'll see if they actually make this unit in 8 to 10 years like they claim. What is that, Stan? Ah, it's a battery-powered lawnmower. From Gravely?
All right, now this next one was what I consider to be the surprise of the GIE lawn mowing show, and that's by Cub Cadet of all things, and it's with a flipping steering wheel, but it's got four wheel steer, dual rear wheels on the back. This thing is like a flipping Cadillac, got married to a go-kart and had a lawnmower for a baby. What a beautiful machine. Honestly, you guys, you gotta try this out. It's just so comfortable and turns on such a dive. It was like, it was the surprise of the show. I would have never thought this thing would have handled like it does. I'm blown away. All I can say is just try it. That's it. Just try it. Do it. Just do it. Try it. Do it. So, holy crap! Four step on the light, four and then we can out. steering. Holy crap! I'm just gonna tell you straight up. That's way better than I would have ever thought. I mean, you ran it, right? Yeah, what did, I did. What did you think of it? I actually, before I ran it, I thought that it was kind of a gimmick, kind of like four wheel steering, whatever. Drove it, one of the nicest mowers. Like one of the coolest new designs I've seen ever. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with you 100%. Do you always wear two hats on your head? Don't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sherlock Holmes now. <laughs> the Bobcat guys actually started this thing when I was at their booth and I popped just a little wheelie they started cheering me on and I'm like yeah this is awesome and then when I went to Gravely it was kind of like the same thing no big deal and I know if I went to the right booth Ed would have stopped me dead in my tracks because that was a pretty weak wheelie and he would have probably taught me the right way to do it but at Skag, they take things a little differently and a lot more seriously. Now, I don't know what your guys' thoughts are on Skag, but even though the guys out in the yard were probably just having a bad day and maybe they had their underwear on too tight, I don't know what was wrong with them. That doesn't mean Skag mowers aren't any good. In fact, Skag makes a really top quality mower. I'll probably never get much of a chance to try them out after this, but I have used them in the past and you're going to see a review on those Skag mowers coming at you down the pipeline. Now what happened at the GIE will not affect that review in any way, shape, or form because that's just two guys out of the entire Skag lineup and it really doesn't represent their company very well. But I hope if you guys made it out to the GIE this year that you had a phenomenal time. I know I did. The GIE is such an amazing show. More importantly, it's you guys that make the show amazing, each and every single one of you. And whatever you do, whatever lawnmower you run, I hope they're nothing but the very best for all of you. God bless you guys, and go get them. I'm getting kicked out of Skag, right? You getting kicked out? Yeah. All right. <laughs> See you guys, thanks for having us. <laughs> <laughs>
I love it. You guys go. Appreciate it. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Yeah, did you have a good show? Yeah, it was awesome. It was good. Packed. Absolutely packed. Yeah, I heard there was some stuff, but I was not out there. Yeah. Who knows? You don't ride a machine like that when you normally cut grass. Just don't show a little respect. You know, it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> That's good, man. It's busy. The flat wore out. So you guys yeah. have a good time? Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, for Real sure. Real good time. Yeah. So, yeah. That's cool. I've been doing this for almost 20 years. So it's nice. It's been a long time. I think we call that almost too long. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what did we just do? We got to stand in skag hat. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> hey, we got something for you. Hey, we're, we're dead serious. Yeah, you want it? If not, we'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> they may have kicked me out of their booth, but I don't care. They still got good lawnmowers.